All right, I'd like to do a Lewis dot structure for an ionic compound. The way we tell that we have an ionic compound is that we've got a metal and a nonmetal. Again, dots. Uh, dot structure, uh, Lewis dot structures are different than Lewis structures. Uh, Lewis structures are for covalent bonds, uh, for covalently bonded compounds. Ionic compounds, we do dot structures, so ionic compounds. Uh, what we would do is we'd start with our atoms here. We'd start with potassium and sulfur, and we draw a dot diagram for this. And what we would do is we'd take a look at our periodic table and these group numbers. In older periodic tables, these are actually 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now in more modern periodic tables, it's uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. But you can still see that uh, last number uh, indicates that uh, the number of valence electrons, which is the number of dots that we would put around our atom. So we've got potassium, which is in group 1, and that means it gets one dot. So we would put one dot around potassium here. And then sulfur is over in group 6, so we would put six dots around sulfur. In an ionic bond, the electron is actually transferred because there's such a large difference in electronegativity. So this electron is transferred over to sulfur. And these are both trying to achieve a noble gas configuration, eight electrons. So by stripping this electron off of potassium, we're down to the next, uh, the energy level below. Uh, leaving eight electrons. Sulfur has six, picked up one. It's still one short, so what would happen is uh, another potassium ion, or excuse me, another potassium atom would transfer an electron to sulfur. This is half of our diagram. Uh, we've got potassium donating those electrons. The second half is what happens after, or the result of this transfer. We'd wind up with uh, sulfur with those eight electrons now. And since it gained two electrons, it would have a negative two charge. And we would have those two donating atoms, potassium on this side, we'll just throw potassium on that side. These guys would have given up a, an electron apiece, so they would each have a positive one charge. So we get this dot structure, uh, potassium with a positive charge, sulfide with a two negative charge, and another potassium with a positive charge. So that's how we would draw our dot structure. Again, we show the transfer of electrons and the end result.